Hey guys, this is Pradeep and uh, this video we are going to talk about browser commands until someone else Silly joins Java. the conference. Yes. Um, we'll be using Cucumber JVM for as our scaffolding and our test framework. Um, so you know the entire description of this is already present on seleniumframework.com if you go to Cucumber and type Cucumber JVM right. Um, sorry, not, not type. Uh, go ahead and click this Cucumber JVM. Um, you would end up in this uh, menu structure here. So uh, a quick background, this this section Cucumber JVM talks about what is Cucumber JVM and what is Selenium Java. It gives you a context why we are using Cucumber JVM. Then this section setup environment talks about how to set up your Java JDK, how we are going to use Maven, install it, configure it and eventually uh, install and configure Eclipse. Um, do not forget to install the plugins which are mentioned on this install and configure Eclipse page, one of the plugin being Cucumber Eclipse plugin. And then the implementation is mostly, um, you know, I've started with a, a simple first project, um, talks um, how to set up a project, how to run a simple uh, feature file and how to connect it with the step definition. And then for the impatient, I went ahead and defined Cucumber JVM and page object. So this, this page um, Cucumber JVM and page object. If you are a beginner, you are trying to learn Selenium Java, um, I would recommend not to, uh, you know, uh, not to get into the details of this page because this is this is like an advanced um, framework concept uh, I introduced for folks who already have a context of Selenium Java and who quickly want to go ahead and implement it. Okay, so that's it. This video we are going to focus on uh, browser commands, right? Um, this menu will be uh, updated as I refactor some of the code um, and keep uh, committing it into my github repository. This is class 1. So if you go to my github repository, right, under Cucumber JVM examples, you'll find the entire code posted here which is which says class 1. I'll update the readme as well, um, you know, when I get the chance. For now, um, you know, if you're watching this video, then it should be uh, pretty much explanatory. So, um, under WebDriver basics, I'm going to cover browser commands, find elements, WebDriver operations, weights and synchronization. For, for today, let's just go into browser commands. So, um, all of the description has been uh, mentioned uh, on, the Qcom, on the browser commands, right? So, um, it talks about why prerequisites are important, it gives you context, and then it, ta it talks about uh, the main browser um, commands, which we will need to take a look at. Um, that Selenium API provides. So, for example, navigating to a URL, Bra how to get a browser title once you navigate, how to do a browser back, forward, refresh, and current URL. Okay. So, um, the once you download this project right here, this one, Cucumber JVM examples, um, you you will find um, this folder right, Cucumber JVM Selenium class one, which has a pom.xml, which means it's a Maven project. Right. So go ahead and import it in um, Eclipse. Um, let me close all of these files for now. Okay. So uh, the way you'll import it is you'll say file import and then existing Maven projects. You'll say next and then um, you will uh, you know browse to the folder. For example, I have it under let's see. Uh, have it in the C drive. Git projects. Right. Um, JVM examples, right, this one. So I'll select this, right. I've already done the selection, right. So it has imported here. And once you import it here, the folder structure should look something like this. So all of our feature files and step definitions go under source test resources contains the features. Source test Java contains the step definitions. The main Java is obviously for the source code, right. Um, Maven, Maven projects, uh, source code always resides in um, source main Java, test code resides in source test Java and any resources like the properties files, um, you know, any XML files um, uh, and so on and so forth um, reside in the, they are static, right, they are static resources. Those reside in the source test resources. So our features are, should, should belong to source test resources, okay. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and look at, you know, the first one what I would like to talk about is addition.feature. This is a very simple Cucumber scenario. You would find it um, when you look at Cucumber Ruby as well, um, which has been mature for many, many, many uh, years in the industry. 
um, this is one of the first scenario you'll find like adding two numbers so I just went ahead and added um, this so what we are going to say is we're going to say feature right feature is a keyword that's why it's highlighted in um, uh, color the cucumber eclipse plugin does that uh, we're going to say the description is addition as a math idiot in order to not feel silly I add two numbers this is free flow description right and then we have we define our first scenario um, almost equivalent to a test case we're going to say adding a and b so I'd say given I have variable a and variable b when I add a and b then I display the sum okay so um, um, you know when you first I have already explained it on the um, cucumber Where's that? Cucumber JVM first project in terms of how would you go about writing your um, you know uh, Cucumber scenario when you first write your scenario when you run it it fails and then you take the blank step definitions right you take the blank step definitions and write your so this video here would explain everything for you okay so I'm not going to uh, repeat that again here um, for now I have already written the step definitions so if I go ahead and you know execute this I expect this run right so I go ahead and say run cucumber feature now when you first um, do this you would get uh, uh, an error here it's, and this is probably cucumber eclipse uh, plugin issue um, because it doesn't have a launch configuration configured yet so just say okay and right click and say run as and then do a run configuration right and then um, you know I've already ran it so it, it, it was not linked to this so go ahead and select that and ensure that this monochrome is unchecked if you have monochrome then the colors would not be displayed in the console okay so let's go ahead and run this now um, now you can see that the browser pops up and closes the reason is because um, you know in the hooks.java right the hooks.java has a precondition before every scenario where I open the browser right now I'm opening chrome chrome driver right the chrome browser you know over time we will see how to parameterize the browser value and open the browser of our choice and in the after what I do is if the scenario failed I do an embed uh, screenshot in the report okay so um, and and of course uh, quit the driver okay um, so as one of the standards I mentioned on the page as well uh, the hooks.java and run test.java will be standard files under step definition for all of the most of the classes what we'll be following the feature files and their corresponding step definitions would be uh, specific to the functionality what we are discussing so in our case here we discussed addition.feature so there's addition.java browser commands.feature and browser commands.java now as described by uh, the uh, cucumber uh, uh, inventors they wouldn't prefer having a one-to-one -one mapping between the feature file and the uh, step definition like this um, and we will refactor this code over time for now our focus is to learn selenium java api so i'm just making it easy at this time by having a one-to-one -one mapping between the feature file and the step definition right over time we would have to uh, see how to optimize and spread the step definitions um, as per the domain model what uh, if you read the cucumber book that's what um, you know they would recommend anyways so for now um, in this class we go we'll go ahead and look at what are some of the browser commands that Selenium Java API provides? So the first, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll first go ahead and write the um, Cucumber feature and scenario. Again, you know, um, you can take a look at Cucumber JVM first project um, video and you can see how we write the steps. For now, you know, I'm going to say feature seleniumframework.com feature. The first scenario here is uh, navigating to the about link and printing the HTML I was just experimenting with it so I'm not going to go into this um, scenario the second one is where I would like to uh, spend some time here so what we are doing is we are doing some browser commands here so a couple of things um, in terms of how to use cucumber eclipse um, plugin here let's say you know your indentation is um, you know like this and you would like to format this file um, so when you right click on this you would have something called pretty format if you do that you know automatically it formats um, this feature file um, so that's that's one um, you know tip what you might like and um, you can also match the step with the step definition by let's say you want to see what's the code behind this which is the step definition behind this so what you're going to do is you right click and say find step and so it will come 
to the code, right? The concrete code which gets executed when the step gets executed. So let's let's look at this because anyways um, I want to focus on the browser commands. So the first one is driver.get. Um, what driver.get does is uh, it takes in a URL and it opens the URL in the browser. Then the second one is uh, driver.get title, right? Driver.get title gets the title of the browser and of course I'm printing that system.out.println and Java is uh, printing it to the cons uh, default console. Um, and then we have driver.get current URL, right? Driver.get current URL gets the current URL and then it prints it. Then driver.get page source, right? And since we have to simulate the forward, backward and refresh, uh, to simulate back, we first need to click a link. So I went ahead and clicked the link about. We will talk in detail, you know, how to interact with HTML elements in the next class. For now, you know, um, not going to go into the details of this line of code here, the line number 45. Um, so I clicked the about link and then um, I did a back and then after that click forward um, and then eventually uh, we do a refresh. Okay? So these are the commands, the browser based Selenium Java API commands. So in terms of what I'm expecting this to run is something like this. So I go to Selenium framework.java and click about, right? We first click this and then do a browser back, okay? And then do a browser forward and then do a browser refresh. So these, these three things are, are what we are doing. And you know, in between each of these, we are printing probably a title right here just to check that we are on a different page. Um, so, so how do you go and execute this? So go back to the browser commands and when you right click, right, and then say run as cucumber feature here, right? From the Eclipse plugin, um, what I've noticed as of today, which is uh, 14th of uh, January 2015, is that all scenarios in the feature file get executed. Um, I am not able to select a certain scenario, but that's that's not a thing of concern. It's not a showstopper, right? We are um, we are just learning Selenium Java API command. So that's uh, as long as it runs and it generates the report, we are fine, right? Um, so let's see, you know. Uh, what it's doing right now. <clears throat> okay, so um, so you know it has executed two scenarios, which are these two scenarios in the browser commands, and all of them passed, right? Um, and it took 38 seconds. Anyways, so um, I prefer sometimes running it from the command line because I have more options. So uh, you know, to run it from command line, you can go to the root folder here, right? Um, and then say, you know, if you say Maven test, right? What Maven test does is it, it, it runs all the features um, in this project. So if I just say Maven test, I expect it to run three scenarios, right? The first one um, being, um, you know, the addition dot feature and the browser commands dot feature has two more scenarios, which it should run, okay? Um, now I'll show you some more options um, where, which you can use from command line, uh, which overrides the options present in run cubes test .java. Now you might be wondering, you know, how wh what does Maven test do at this point in time that it is uh, able to kick off this, um, you know, uh, feature files. We'll take a look in a moment once uh, this run is complete. Okay. All right, there's one more. I think this is the addition. Yeah. Okay, so all three scenarios passed, right? Now what happens is, um, if you look in your pom.xml, right? Um, we have added a plugin at the bottom, which is Maven Surefire plugin, and we are using the J unit, right? So in the run cubes test.java, we are using the annotation run with. So the J unit runner, right? It's running this. So what essentially uh, it's doing is, it's running all of the features, right? It's running all of the features. Um, let's say I want to override this, right? But I don't want to edit this file every time. So that's why I like command line because what I can do is I can say, you know, maven clean test and then hyphen D, right? Um, I also mentioned this in the readme file. So you can go ahead and open the project and, you know, take an example here. You know, I'm going to take this for now. Okay, so if I say this, um, 
Now let's see at what line number do I, I have the scenario browser commands on line number nine. So I'm going to say line number nine. Okay. And uh, this, this is going to be browser commands. Okay. And let me close this. All right. So what I expect this to run is just the one scenario, which is the browser commands. Okay. So what this does is at this point, at this point, it overrides the values present in the uh, run queues test. This one, it overrides these values. Okay. So let's see that uh, it runs what we expect it to run. Okay, so you know we are doing the uh, back, forward, and then refresh, right? Okay, so um, it ran, you know, one scenario passed. So you can see that it we, we narrowed down exactly to that one scenario what we wanted to execute. I didn't find an easy way to run, um, you know, the way Cucumber Ruby works um, is when you right click on a scenario and run it, it runs only that scenario. And if you run anywhere outside, right? of the scenario, it runs all the all of the scenarios in the feature file. So I expect all this Cucumber Eclipse plugin also to do the same, but I think uh, there are some bugs which needs to be resolved. Of course, you can always go and, you know, if you go and look at the run configurations, right, you can, you can specify the line number. But you know what, I don't want to edit this, right, I want it to be as intelligent as the Cucumber Ruby in the Ruby mind. So um, anyways, for now, you know, uh, we are able to execute the scenarios and in this video, what we focused on is um, the APIs for uh, um, APIs for uh, the browser commands, right? The get title, get current URL, uh, back, forward and refresh. Okay, so um, that's it uh, for now. Um, just to uh, recap, uh, we are using Cucumber JVM as a scaffolding or a, as a framework. So um, I might compare this to um, you know how we have how we use um, test ng for example right um, so I cucumber JVM is much much more mature and I I have worked with test ng for uh, many years um, there are pros and cons but if your team is working in an ATDD acceptance test driven development or behavior driven development then cucumber JVM is, is, is a great addition and um, over time we will see how it makes our uh, uh, test automation much simpler and much more value add. Okay, with that said, um, you know, um, thanks for uh, watching this video. Uh, we will catch up soon again.